The Strasbourg Christmas market gunman's time on the run ended in his hometown, just three kilometres from where he committed his last and most violent crime of a life spent as a criminal. Sharif Shakat was spotted by a police patrol. When they tried to arrest him, he shot at them. They shot back, killing him. Je pense aux victimes. My thoughts are with the victims, the injured, with those close to them, and my thoughts are with Strasbourg and of France wounded by this attack. My thoughts are also with the security forces who were totally engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud. Police appeared to be closing in on Chicat when SWAT teams raided locations in southeastern Strasbourg earlier on Thursday. The 29-year-old had served jail sentences in Germany and France for a string of thefts and violent crimes. One of Chicat's last victims was waiting outside a restaurant for his family, seemingly chosen at random, in the wrong place, at the wrong time. The husband of a friend of mine was in his restaurant. His wife and his son went to the toilet, but he's dead. Chicat spread panic in central Strasbourg on Tuesday evening as he ran through the streets, shooting some people with a handgun and slashing others with a knife. France remains on its highest level of security alert. 1,800 members of the security forces have been deployed to patrol Christmas markets across the country to try and prevent or discourage further attacks. For three days, Sharif Shakat managed to hold out in an area he grew up in the southeastern suburbs of Strasbourg. His name was on a list of people who might have been a security risk to the French state, but there are 26,000 other names on that list and impossible for the police to keep tabs on all of those people all of the time. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Strasbourg.